If you don't know what a labia is, it's the doors to the party, okay? You can't get into the party until you say hello to the doors. Unless you Bill Cosby, he's a terrible guest, okay? I'm hearing nothing. Like I'm looking out in the stage and I'm like, I'm bombing. Hi, I'm Sydney Washington. I'm a stand-up comedian. Yes, I do comedy and I look like this. You're welcome. And podcaster, writer, and sometimes model, and a cat dad of two cats. In 2018, I auditioned to be a part of this showcase for Comedy Central. I auditioned, I felt really good about it. Maybe a month or two after I found out that I get it. Yay, exciting, but extreme anxiety. The fact that I have not pooped on myself in like strenuous situations is crazy to me because I have a turtle coming out of my ass. It's a lot. So I get to San Francisco. I'm nervous. I'm trying to do all these exercises, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, pooping, doing everything to get the nerves out of me. We get to the to the venue and it's high, high, high ceiling. For me, that's a number one no-go because when the ceilings are low, the laughter bounces off and travels. So I'm already overthinking it. If you're walking into a place and you're like, yeah, the ceilings are low. Yeah, maybe you are not ready to do stand-up. Why are you focusing on the interior design and, and more about like having a good time? The first comic goes up and he does pretty good. And so I'm like, ooh, great. So I was towards the end. I get up there and I'm sweating. I mean, my palms were clammy. So I get on and I'm holding the mic. I tell my first joke. If you don't know what a lady is, it's the doors to the party, okay? You can't get into the party until you say hello to the doors. Unless you Bill Cosby, he's a terrible guest, okay? And I'm hearing nothing. Like I'm looking out in the stage and I'm like, I'm bombing. Hello darkness, my old friend. I get off and you know, everybody's like, no, you did great, but people be lying. We leave San Francisco and the weight on my chest, the pain on my edges. I felt like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. I was like, I was in a depressed sandwich. I was like already depressed, but then depressed because I was not happy. I'm like, that's not me. I've been doing stand up for like six, seven years. I don't see somebody who's funny. I'm never gonna get booked. Everybody's gonna hate me. I was too caught up. I was thinking too much. I was like stumbling over stuff. It was a nightmare, but you live and you learn. You gotta have some highs and some lows for you to appreciate the good times. What did I learn from this experience? Have fun. What the hell are we doing this for? If you're so miserable and putting so much pressure on yourself, you're missing the experience. You know, a lot of us have imposter syndrome and we're like, do I really deserve this? That's, that's a no-go. Trust yourself, you know? Believe that you are good. And, and sometimes your epic fails are sometimes a win because even though you felt like you lost, you won an experience so that the next time you do something, you'll you'll know what to do, you'll be better. And know that you were picked for a reason. You know, somebody saw something in you that was like, this needs to be out there. People need to see this. You have to take in all your, all your wins and actually believe.